Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel, and um, we have a question about jamming and what, in general, do countries do to jam another signal? So it depends on the country. There's a very diverse way of jamming. I would say that the most popular jamming is probably generating all sorts of noise from, you know, sirens to um, white noise to all sorts of weird things that will just, you know, interfere with the signal. Uh, Cuba is good for that. Cuba actually has, against Radio Marti, uh, a jammer that is often heard even, even when the signal's not there anymore. It is heard as some weird electronic white noise that goes on the frequency and sometimes it's on the frequencies of um, Radio Marti 24 hours a day. Um, China, China favors two types of jamming. One is called Fire Drake. Fire Drake is Chinese traditional music that is very unique. It's, it's easy to identify when you hear it. And that is intentionally put on a frequency of any stations they don't want that uh, broadcast to come into the mainland China. Fire Drake is less heard these days, and more and more what they do is simply put uh, CNR1, the China National Radio One Jammer. China National Radio One Jammer is simply the Chinese national radio uh, Mandarin service that is over all the frequencies of many different stations that they want, don't want uh, to join mainland China. In one way, that type of jamming has an advantage. The advantage of just saying, well, you know, no, we're broadcasting on shortwave and uh, it's not intentional. Yeah, it is. But it's less um, of a, um, you know, jamming type noise. So it's like, you know, you kind of just say, well, you know, it is possible, I guess, but it's not. You know, it's you see it change all the time. They actually, um, one of them is uh, Sound of Hope in Taiwan. When you uh, see a list of frequencies for Sound of Hope, they have like, you know, um, maybe 50 frequencies registered. But they don't use 50 frequencies. They only use a certain number of those frequencies. And obviously some people are listening. Because what happens is that when they change frequency, it doesn't take long that the uh, China National Radio is on that frequency. So there's obviously people there listening to be able to switch to the proper frequency if they ever change. But like I said, the most part is all sorts of noise and sirens. Uh, there's, you know, one of the, 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 the comments in the question was, you know, do some jam with, like, you know, maybe some propaganda or rhetoric and stuff like that. It doesn't really happen much. Um, we can't say that there are many jammers that actually came on the air with propaganda to jam another country. In general, it's really just pure noise or like China, just using one of their national radios uh, for jamming. Uh, jamming today is concentrated a lot more into the Asian area. So China does. I know that Vietnam still does, I believe. North Korea will jam. Um, and uh, here in the Western Hemisphere, uh, the only jammer that I can see of is, of course, Radio Van in Cuba, or Cuba itself. I say Radio Van in Cuba because we're pretty sure that the jamming comes from the same transmitters in the same place. So uh, that's pretty much the way that jamming is happening. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.